Hey guys, welcome to Wheel of Death. And you know what, your first question has to be, what in the hell is Wheel of Death? We are all about destruction, but destruction in the name of science. How did Wheel of Death get its name? Well, this may look like a comp cams degree wheel, but the truth of the matter is it's the Wheel of Death. It spins, it shoots fire, sparks, smoke, all the good stuff, and it has four distinct sections, and each section represents an opportunity to learn. That's right, and with learning comes mistakes, but we're going to make the mistakes so you don't have to. Now that we're all on the same page, let's give this baby a spin. And the envelope, please. All right, it landed on number three, which means D's nuts. <laughs> Chad, tell us about D's nuts. Well, if you have an air cleaner on your engine, then hey, D's nuts can't fall into it. But if you remove that air cleaner, like so, D's nuts fall right on through. Not good. Hey, now that we know how we're gonna blow it up, let's take a look at our test motor. All right, Chad, we're standing in front of a test motor. What do we got going on? 351 cubic inches of small block Ford. We like that. Got it from LKQ Pickup Art down the street. Those guys are awesome. And we bought the warranty. Always a very good idea. But you know what? This thing originally came fuel injected and we wanted to run a carburetor, so we had to make a few changes. What do we do? MSD distributor. Thumbs up. Speedmaster intake manifold. Very nice choice. And a Holly XP four barrel. Those are awesome. You know, to go with this MSD distributor, we also added a 6AL ignition amplifier and to get all that exhaust out, a nice set of hooker headers. But you know what, to give this thing a fighting chance on the dyno because we knew this thing, we were gonna be nice to it. We added some Lucas oil, but you know what? This thing came from the wrecking yard. We don't even know if it's alive. So let's run it and find out before we kill it. these nuts. Yeah, that's right, we spared no expense. That's not one, not two, but three paint can lids. Hey, these nuts, look at it. Six thirty seconds, and don't worry, if this isn't enough, we're not afraid to go big. Hey, lay into it, and then we're adding these nuts, baby. Let's go. Hold on, drive. Not yet. Okay, so we're going to big nuts, which means 10 32s, 10 32s or 10 yeah. or whatever they are. And um, <laughs> 220, 221, whatever it takes. And so we're going with six of each of them again, and we're gonna pull it and see what happens. Yeah. 
This thing's ready to run another 100,000 miles. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Carried around on the back of some Chevrolet's pickup bed. <laughs> come on, baby, come on! See? We gotta, we gotta, we should check the plugs. Okay. Yeah, it has a valve open on it. <laughs> the camera got a good shot of the fire on that one. <laughs> That was it. And it's really clear. Yeah. Tell him to start spraying it. Now, if it doesn't fire on that much brake clean, it won't it fire. Run. No. It's done. It's done. You finished. Oh, tap it a couple times just so you can see if the. Oh! It broke it. The the timing chain. It, the rotor ain't spinning anymore. That's the problem. Okay, that is not. I did. Well, I tried to get in my bomb. Yeah, it's just a bomb. That is not good. All right, Chad. You know I'm a Ford guy, but. I can't help but be a little disappointed about the outcome. Me too, I was hoping that this thing would die in much more spectacular fashion, but it doesn't mean we don't have a lot of carnage inside the engine. Yeah, it looks like we broke a couple of rods, a camshaft, a timing chain, but I'm disappointed that that stuff didn't come out and join the party. No, we had some good geyser works because obviously there's a hole in a water jacket somewhere, but I think we're gonna use this to inspire us because we just need to go bigger next time. That's right, we're gonna take Old Faithful, step up our game, so join us next time on Wheel of Death.